Hello, this is uh, Learn in Japanese through actual pen pal letters and this is lesson number three. This lesson is from... Uh, uh, we're going to analyze a part of a, a letter that I got from my friend Sakura and she talks about onsen and uh, you'll see. So I got this picture of uh, it's a, a print of an onsen and uh, I wanted to show it to you and then I started seeing that in the corner if somebody knows what the whole thing means uh, you can see there that it says Ofuro here in the beginning even though it's reversed I don't know why it talks about slender hips and snow but if somebody knows what the whole thing means, they can put it in the comments. That would be nice to know. But in there, I know that you can see Ofuro, even though this is reverse. That's the symbol for wind, by the way, Kase. So Ofuro is the bath. So that was just a little note. So let's learn Japanese through pen pals. In the previous lesson, in lesson number two, uh, we analyzed uh, Onkei, Blessed, from uh, my friend Angela that had Onkei putting her wrist and then in her back, the Butsutachi NOI, Love for Animals. So we analyzed that and we saw how Onkei is written Blessed the two symbols for blessed two very beautiful symbols and i included the kanji for neko for cat um, since she loves cats so much so in this letter we're going to learn w the f words like ohisashiburi shibaraku ryoko Aikawarasu, Aikawarasu, things haven't changed, it's all the same. And she talks about going to Nagano, so we'll see how Nagano is written. And Ryoko Tabi, to travel to Nagano. We'll analyze Onsen, temperature, Kiong. So it's a, a lot of words, so I want to split this video in two so we can go through all the sentences so at first this might seem sort of complicated but or maybe sort of simple depending on your level but this is the beginning of the letter and this is what we're going to analyze so she says Francisco o hisanshiburi o genki desu ka shibaraku kontak dekesu ni gomen nasai Ima wa ryoko shu kashira watashi wa aikawarasu no mainichi dakedo sukoshi mai ni shujin to nagano ken ni ryoko shitte kimashita onsen ni yukuri haite refureshu de kimashita so this is where we're going to be starting Maybe you understand some of it. She talks about going to an onset and how she was able to refresh herself. And here is a picture of what an onsen is. It's all very beautiful, the hot water. So she starts her letter by saying, Oh, Hisashiburi. I like this, this letter because it has a lot of words that you're going to hear all the time, either anime or in conversation, I mean anime or conversation. So the first one is Ohisashiburi, oh, she says, Francisco, Ohisashiburi, oh, Ogenki desu ka? Ogenki oh, desu ka, you'll hear a lot, every time Japanese meet they say, Ogenki oh, desu ka? How are you? How is your energy? That would be the translation. Genki for energy. So how are you? So it's a long time. How are you? Um, the um, also you when 
Japanese haven't seen each other for a long time. They always say, "Oh, he's a shiguri des." So and, and o genki des ka. Sometimes they say just the genki. So for more informal, depending on what, who you're talking to. <clears throat> so she says, "Shibaraku contact." <laughs> I don't know why she put this in English, but she goes, "Shibaraku contact." The kisuni gomene, gomene. I'm sorry. And Shibaraku, it's quite a while. It's been a, a, a while that I haven't been able to contact you. Every time you see the kiru, which is this, it's it implies being able to do something, like um, hanasu dekimasen, or I can't speak, or you you see this construction a lot. So she starts it. Letter by saying that of his Ashiburi, yes, and um, then she says, Ima wa Ryokoshu Kashira. Kashira is perhaps, maybe, perhaps now, maybe you're in a trip. Ryoko. So I wonder if now you're in a trip. Ryoko. We're going to be studying these uh, kanjis. And uh, let's see how you write uh, Ryoko. This would be the kanji for to travel. In itself, it's read Tabi. Another reason is Ryo. And so in this is Ryoko. And this is the. the um, the uh, kanji for to go so ryoko so she says <clears throat> ima wa ryoko chu kashira and the one that we just see is the kanji for ryoko so let's see how you write that again the kanji for rio to travel in itself Red tabi and the tab the um, kanji for iku to go both of them read read ryoko so that's it for now and for the next video we'll continue analyzing more kanji and the rest of the sentences see you next time otanoshimini